appear to all men. Yes. Um, how is grace received? Openly. It's there for you to take. If you're an Israelite, that's the key. Get me an Israelite. Grace is received through faith. That's the law of Israel. Yes, you have to believe. I agree with that. Yes. What's your point? The point is you guys don't believe. Yo, we do believe. You know, what what lie did we say today? What know, lie was it? Well, you you guys trust in the law. Give me give me uh like, give me Romans. You say you say we trust in the law. What does the Bible say? You say we trust in the law. What does the Bible say? Trust in the finished work of Jesus. You say you say we trust in the law, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. We keep the law. We have faith. If we didn't have faith, we wouldn't be keeping the law. But your faith now does the Bible say we got to keep the law? Yes or no? The Bible says we keep the law of yes. God through yes. faith. Yeah, so that means we ain't got to do nothing? No. It means that means we got to do something there, right? Here, here's the gospel. That means we got to do something there, right? Jesus gave you his righteousness as a free gift. That means we have to do something then, right? We got to work for it, right? No. His yes. Get yeah, Romans chapter 6, gave, all right? Start at verse 1. We're going to read the Bible for you. He gave you the ability to keep the law as a free gift. Listen, listen, listen. Yes, you have the ability to keep the law. Are you going to keep it or not? Are they going to keep it? All the people you over there with ain't keeping the law. You know how many women I saw with pants on? They ain't the keeping law. the law, man. You don't keep You're supposed to be rebuking them, reproving them. If you're a true Christian, a Christian that's what you're supposed to be doing. Read what you got. You got Come it. on. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. Read. What shall we say then? What shall we say then today? What shall we say then today? Come on. Hold on. What shall we say then? Shall we? Continue in sin? Shall we continue? Shall we continue to break God's laws? In sin. Shall we continue to break God's laws? That's what that said. Shall we continue in sin? It said, shall we continue to break God's laws? In sin. That grace may abound. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. My question is: Shall we continue to break God's laws? No. No. Come on. I'm gonna finish. God forbid. God I'm, forbid. I'm going to finish no, it. No, that's the answer. No, I'm going to finish it. Do you not know that you all or them that who were baptized in Jesus what? Christ were baptized into Jesus' death? And just how he was crucified and buried. What are you saying, brother? Get to your point. So our sinful nature was crucified and buried with him. And just as he was raised Verse 14. Alive, Listen good. Read what you got. The book of Romans, chapter 6. Verse 14. Listen, you guys listen. are not taking the whole For scripture. sin. Just listen. Just listen to the Bible. I'm reading the Bible. Read what you got. If you give me a scripture, Bible. you give me a scripture, I'll read it. All right? Read what you got. Come on. For sin shall not have dominion over you. God says that right. sin shall not have dominion over you. Right. All right? Yes. Come on. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. So the Bible says we're not under the law, right? Yes. We're under grace. Right. Right? Come on. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law? Shall we continue to break God's laws that we're not under the law? No. No, right? Come on. But under grace, God forbid. God forbid. The answer is no, all right? Now I'm going to show you a law, all right? Mark chapter 6, I want verse 56. And then I want Numbers chapter 15, verse 38, all right? This is a law that Jesus kept. You're not keeping this law today, all right? You're not keeping it. I'm just going to be honest with you. So I'm going to show you your transgressions just like the Lord said we need to do. You understand? To all the true Christians, all right, come talk to us about the truth of God, the black Messiah, Jesus Christ. All y'all true Christians, come talk to us, all right? Bring forth your reason. Prove that we're wrong. Come on. Mark 6, 56? Yes. The book of Mark, chapter 6, verse 56. And whether soever he entered into villages or cities or country, they laid the sick in the streets Come on. and besought him they besought Christ. Come on. that they might touch if it were but the border but the what? But the border of his garment. You know what that was? Fringes that they were trying to touch. On the border of his garment. That means the end of his garment. Christ had these on the end of his garment. You understand? Those are fringes. You, did you know that? These are fringes. You're commanded to wear them. All the, na the, the nation of Israel is commanded to wear those things on their clothes with a blue border that looks just like this. A blue border, all right, and fringes on, the, on their garment. That's why when they tried to reach Christ, you understand, they tried to re get the one in Matthew, all right? We're going to read it again for you in different accounts. When they tried to touch Christ, right, they grabbed his fringes, the border of his garment, right at the end. 
at the board of his garment, just like they hear a long garment, right? That's what the scriptures say, right? Yeah, hold on. I'm going to read this scripture, and, and then I'll let you speak about why you don't have fringes on. I'll let you say why you don't have fringes on, all right? Is it Matthew 7, like 29? Uh, Matthew... Where the uh, fringes at in Matthew? You got it? All right, give me Numbers 15, 38 while we wait for that. All right? We'll read this one, then we'll let you talk. Say it again. Yeah, 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 that'd be good. All right, that's the Bible dictionary. All right, Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. This was commandment given to the nation of Israel. Come on. Matthew 9 and 20 as well. Yes, sir. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. Same people you see on this side. Same people the gospel is for. Same people Christ came for. Same people Paul preached to. Same Peter, uh, same people Peter, Peter spoke to. The children of Israel. You read the same thing throughout the whole Bible. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. And they make them what? Fringes. That's what this is. That's why Christ had them on. Come on. In the borders. In the where? In the borders. At the end of their garment. Come on. Of their garments. Read. Throughout their generations. And bid means to command. So they, he commanded them to put fringes and borders on the ends of their garments throughout their whole generation. That means today you're a generation of your forefathers. You're supposed to have those on. Come on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue should be on your fringes, right? That's why we all have ribbons of blue. All right, come on. Was that it? Yes, sir. No, it's not. Come on. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So I should see these fringes, right? And remember that God said in the book of the law that a man shouldn't shave his face. Right. I should remember that. I just can't, you know, I really don't feel like, like, uh, 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 you know, going home to, to, to my wife. But God said, I can only have one wife. You understand? I need to take care of her and love her. That's what these fringes remind you to do. Nothing evil in having these fringes on. And it's a commandment given by our forefathers to our children. And to their children. And to their children. To their children. To us today. That's what that's for. You understand? Uh, Matthew 14. Was that it? No, I think I'm wrong. All right, come on. Yes, sir. And do them, and then ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes. Because you know what Christians do today? They seek after their own heart and their own eyes and their own mind, and they make up their own justifications. That's right. So if you had fringes on, maybe you would do that a little less. I don't know. Right? It's only one way to find out. That means you got to get the fringes on your clothes and keep God's commandments. You said yourself that we need to keep the law. That's a law, brother. That's a law. So this is a law that you're not keeping. Why don't you keep that law? Why don't you keep that law? I can't hear you. Hold on one second. You don't know why you don't keep that law? All right, Matthew chapter 14. On, we got another scripture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we're going to get read the scripture while you get what you need. I already got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got it. In Matthew, I got you. Yeah. Yes, sir, I got you. I'm in Galatians. All right. Galatians uh, chapter 1. All right. What you got? The book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 20. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Touch what? The hem of his garment. What's that hem in the Bible? You got what I want in the Bible dictionary? What's that hem that she touched? Brother, what's the hem that the sister touched? The hem of his garment. What was it? What did she touch? The hem of his garment. What was it? She touched, okay, and we're going to show you. That's an honest answer. This is the Bible dictionary. We're going to read the definition of the hymn. Come on. It's out of the Bible Compact Dictionary, page 181. Fringe, the tassel of twisted cords, fastened to the outer garments of Israelites. Of who? Of Israelites. So it's a fringe or a tassel fastened to who? The Israelites. Right. Because Moses commanded them. You know Christ came from the tribe of Judah? Did you know that? He was yeah, an Israelite from the tribe of Judah? Of course. Right. So don't you think it's important for us to know who we are and what tribe we're from? Because we should be like Christ, right? I am. Uh, we should be like Christ, right? Yeah. So don't you think it's important for us to know our nationality, what tribe we come from? No, uh, Jesus didn't really talk about his tribe or nationality. Yes, he did. No, he Matthew didn't. chapter 15, verse 24. You say he didn't talk about his tribe on, or on. his nationality. I say he didn't he talk. Did. He didn't talk much about it. Yeah, did, okay, but he did, did talk about it, right? Talk, what did he talk more about? But he did talk about it, right? God is his Listen, father. Listen, but he did talk about God it, right? Is his father. You say he didn't talk and much about it. I say, okay, faith. but he talked about it, right? 
You're not listening to me. But it's important. I'm listening to you. I heard what you said. No, you're not. Listen, I can tell you what you just said. You said he didn't talk much about it. He talked more about his people and the gospel and spreading no, the no, word. No. Than he see, see, you didn't listen. He talked more about the fact that his nationality is from heaven. God is no. his father. What scripture says his nationality is from heaven? God, Since he talks so much about his nationality on, being from heaven, what scripture says his nationality no, was from heaven? No, Which that's one? A, that's an explanation of Which him. one? Which scripture can yes. I go to? God is his father. This is what Christians do. This is what he, you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. God is his father. That's what he's saying. What, what, what scripture says that his nationality was from heaven? That's what you said. Where can I go in the Bible to read that same thing? It's just a, it was just an explanation of That was your truth. own mind. That's why you need fringes, brother. Because right. right. you're speaking your own mind. Right. The Bible say don't do that. Right. Read it back in Numbers chapter 15. Right. The Bible say don't do that. Right. You're breaking more right. commandments right now. The, the point I'm making is that God is his father. Yes, I know God is his father. I agree with that. Yes. We all know that. that They're not the same people. God is the son. The most high is his father. We all know that. That means that those of us who live by faith and who try to be like Jesus, we are, God's, we are God's children through Jesus. How? That's how it works. That's the gospel. That's how you become a son of God? Through faith in the name of Jesus. Right. You have to change your ways to be a son of God. Right? And that, that no. you... And, and the, the people is the Israelite. Only the Israelites can can Hold get on. salvation, brother. You change your ways because you're a son of God, not to become a son of God. But it, That's don't, the gospel. Whichever way you look at it, you still got to change your ways. It don't matter. Which one, what are you going to do? Are you going to put friends on you? You're not. Because you got to have friends on to get the kingdom. What you going to do? No, I don't have to get friends. Yes, Hold you on, do. Here, here's you have to have friends on to get the kingdom. Here's, Hold here's, on. I'm going to read. I'm going to read. I'm going to read this one more time for you. It's the first we read already. Yes, all right. I've heard it. Listen good. Come on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and that you seek not after your... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Read that part again. That you seek what? And that ye seek not after your own heart. You can't seek after your own heart, brother. That, no, you sought, you sought after your own heart when you said Jesus' nationality was from heaven. They, they don't say that nowhere in the Bible. Don't say it nowhere in the Bible. You understand? Don't say that. Come close. Listen, brother. All right, come close. All right, read. Seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which you used to go a-whoring. Because we used to go a-whoring after those things. It never works out well. Christianity has not done anything for our people. Nothing. It's a Christian church on every block of the ghetto. What are they doing for our people out here? Right. Nothing. Nothing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.